We're in Peterborough Cathedral and we're doing a, a fantastic schools matinee uh, with four schools from the uh, Peterborough area. Singing in particular is a great gift and to make children realise just how expressive they can be through singing is a fantastic thing for their future. Here today in St Sepulchre's Church in London, the Musicians Church, here for the first of our London Choral Pilgrimage Workshops. One of the main challenges for today is to bring together a new group of singers who've never sung together before and over the course of only four hours make them into a cohesive ensemble. Many people will have heard of the 16 and be aware of the work that the choir does. What they may not be aware of is our education programme. The education work of the 16 aims to bring music to as wide a cross-section of the public as possible. So my role today has been as a presenter of this concert and I've been trying to bring the performers and the audience closer together. Having Sam Glazer with us is an amazing facilitator of, of this music. He allows this music to be approachable. The thing that I try to consider is that for lots of these children, it will be the, the first time that they've ever attended a concert like this. So I see my main role as to reassure them that they're welcome here and that their responses to the music are valid and to give them some tools and ideas to help them listen actively and participate. Kirsty, can, can we hear the soprano? Just the first couple of bars of the soprano. We try and send in a group of singers so that all young people can actually get to hear live choral music because I think that's the really special element for young people, hearing it live and really experiencing it. to connect with our fans in a different way and we know there are so many fantastic amateur choirs out there that we decided to offer choral workshops all over the UK run by our associate conductor Eamon Dugan as well as Sally Dunkley, a founder member and soprano with the 16. The participants always bring a huge amount of energy and enthusiasm to these workshops which are four hours long and I do work them hard during that time and I think that's a testament to their interest in the music and also in their own singing that they want to work that hard. You learn technical things about how to sing and we're learning about how to breathe properly, how to stand and how to listen to the others in the choir. We're also aiming to produce and nurture the next generation of professional young ensemble singers, and that is where Genesis 16 comes in. Today we're at St Martin in the Fields for the showcase end-of-year performance of Genesis 16. Genesis 16 is our unique training programme funded by the Genesis Foundation. You just grow in confidence throughout the year and I think that's quite obvious with a lot of the people in Genesis 16 that they've really come out of their shell and blossomed as singers and as a choir as well. had a small group of children who took part in a songwriting workshop last week. Uh, in, in the space of one day, they devised some lyrics, they devised some tunes, they put the song together and they learnt it and they performed it in the concert today. 
So that group have had an incredible experience of creating, composing and performing a piece of music from scratch in a very short space of time. I think if you give children an experience of fantastic repertoire, performed really well, they will naturally respond to that and engage with it. boy um, so I've been singing since I was kind of that high um, and I've sung in choirs since I think I was about eight years old. I sing in Cordid which is a choir in Cardiff and we've been quite successful in the past but I just wanted to hone my skills and um, learn about breathing and diction and um, phrasing. Of course the main focus of the day though is to get inside the music uh, and to really investigate the pieces and I think people really appreciate having the opportunity to work in great detail on these pieces and through myself and the historical background that Sally Dunkley brings into it, they get a much more rounded view of a particular piece. There's a lovely partnership between Sally and Eamon. They work so beautifully together and it's his fantastic conducting ability which brings me back to these workshops time and time again. They're all experienced singers, people who sing regularly with choirs, with chamber choirs, and often it's just the case of giving them new ideas to take away and work on in their own singing. For the participants of the education programme, I think the main value lies in having access to the choir. It's very easy to listen to the CDs at home and feel that they're a million miles away, and I think it's really important that people feel they can come and talk with the choir, sing with the choir, learn from them, and meet other choral enthusiasts at the same time. I think the benefit for me for being in this choir has been being around such amazing people. Harry, Eamon, the whole of the 16 and the Genesis 16. It's an incredible experience to be around people that are so giving and wanting you to do so well. We are bringing students, children, adults into our world and giving them a taste of, of something that is quite glorious in music. For me, what's so exciting is seeing the amazing impact of the work that we're doing in the education department, seeing children who, until we had come to work with them, didn't know this whole world was available to them. That, for me, is one of the most rewarding things about what we're doing. What's really struck me is how many musical children there are out there of varying levels but they're so willing to get stuck in, to learn an instrument, to sing, to perform in front of each other when they have the right encouragement. So you've got an amazing experience of just regular children from regular state schools sharing a stage with some of the best professional singers in the country and in the world and I think that's a very validating experience for, for both of those groups. What you get here with a 16 workshop is the, the whole package condensed into four hours. So it's quite intense, but it's, it's manageable, it's good and it's fun. Even though it's a short length of time, you come away from it thinking that was really worthwhile. We had over 400 children here today. They were all on the edge of their seat. They were all enjoying themselves. The fact of being able to sing with the 16 in an amazing building like this is something that will remain with them for the rest of their life. It's a fantastic experience for them. To take part in music making and creative music making at a really high level, it's something that, that should be and can be accessible to everyone.